Hello, in this video we're going to look at task 2 of the PowerPoint sample paper that we've been looking at. So the first thing I've got to do is continue working on my PowerPoint presentation called Rescue and insert this text, Emergency and Rescue Training, in the title. So I'm going to go across to PowerPoint, I'm going to open up my file, um, and as you can see uh, it's set up as we, as we left it last time. And just to be quick, I'm going to paste that text in there. Now, um, the next thing we need to do is to insert an image called Ski below the placeholder. Uh, we can resize it. We've got to maintain the original proportions. It mustn't touch or overlap any text. And it's got to be only the only thing displayed between the title and the footer. So I'm going to go back across. I find the easiest thing to do uh, when you're working with these boxes is just to delete that box uh, which is really designed for bullet points and then I'm going to go up to insert pictures and then just to show you where that is I've, I've put it in my folder called PowerPoint your teacher will show you where that uh, file is and I'm going to insert that picture there. Now the important thing is that when we resize a picture in most of the uh, office programs really we always use the corner button to resize and that will maintain the original proportions. If I don't do that, if I choose one of these things at the side, as you can see that stretches the the uh, the image out and that's not what we want. By the way, just remember that if ever you do something like that and, and you decide that's not what you wanted, Control Z will undo the last action. So uh, I don't want to uh, overlap the title, so I'm going to just make that quite large by moving from the uh, bottom corner button and I'm going to put the picture in the middle. As you can see uh, that little red line comes up just to show me that I've got the, the picture centered. Actually looking at it now I realize that I have overlapped the, uh, the border of my text box so that isn't going to be quite right so I'll just drop it down a little bit so it's not overlapping that and then just re-center it. So um, let's see what we need to do next. It says we've got to enter some text on slide two, first class facilities, and some bullet points. Excellent lecture rooms, experienced staff, variety of terrain, and mountain rescue equipment. So let's go over and uh, check that we've got everything we need for that. By the way, um, what you'll notice is that on the first task, it said to put emergency rescue training in capital letters. Uh, and I've done that on my slide. That is important. If you make mistakes uh, around capital letters, you will lose accuracy marks. So I'm going to click new slide. Uh, I'm going to use this little button at the bottom there and choose the title and content one, which we set up in the master. As you can see, my footers are all there and uh, it's, in the, it's in the font that I decided I was going to use. So just to check, first class facilities. So I've typed in first class facilities, but then I've realized that I actually haven't put it all in capitals as I said I was going to. So I can actually change that quite easily. I'm going to highlight the text, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose font. And then you'll see uh, there's a little box there that I can check which says all caps. So if I click that and press OK, it'll turn the, uh, the text into all caps which obviously is what I wanted. So that's uh, another way of doing that. Uh, so now I need to type in excellent bullet, excellent lecture rooms, experienced staff, etc. into my uh, PowerPoint. So I'll do that next. So I've typed in those bullet points. Um, but as you can see, I've made a little mistake here where I've typed in the word equipment and uh, PowerPoint has underlined that in red for me just to say, hang on, there's probably a mistake there. So if I right click on that, I can uh, see the correct spelling and, and have that put in for me. So just remember to, to take advantage of the uh, spell check and grammar check as you're going along uh, when you're creating a document. Okay, now it says here that uh, experienced staff should be a second level bullet. So uh, I just need to put my cursor in front of the E and press the tab key then as you can see that will shove that along a little bit 
and it'll put it into italics, which was how we asked the uh, second level bullet points uh, to be set up. So now we need to create slide three, uh, which has got another title in all capitals training offered and some more bullet points. So we're going to add a new slide, uh, title and content, and then I'm going to add the uh, text that we've got to put in here there. So there's my slide with the text uh, entered. And it says here that development of skills has got to be a second level bullet. So just like before, put my cursor up there and press the tab key. Uh, see what else we've got to do. Proofread and spell check. Well, hopefully we've been doing that as we go along. Slave the slideshow and print out the three slides, one per page in landscape orientation. So let's have a look. First thing to do is to save. Um, and then I'm going to not actually print, but show you how to do the printing. So go into the uh, file area, press print. And it's going to be uh, just a straightforward print of all of the slides, one per page. So all I would do then is press print. And uh, that's the end of the first task. So all I need to do now is, uh, sorry, the end of the second task. So just close my PowerPoint and uh, that's all for now.